Hi, good morning. This is your Vice President for Business Development, Georgian Gonzalez, and uh, I'd like to greet each and every one of you, our dear empowered consumers, leaders, associates, coaches, mentors, all over the Philippines. A great, great day to each and every one of you, and of course, all our leaders and distributors all over the world. Uh, this is actually a unique time to each of us because no one anticipated that this outbreak or pandemic will ever happen and uh, no one was prepared actually for this and it's making an impact to each and every one of us socially, economically, uh, again because uh, most of us are under quarantine or uh, under the lockdown as a directive or as directed by the government as part of uh, preventing the spread of this deadly virus. So we have to do our part and become socially responsible because everyone is at stake here, including our loved ones. But uh, at the same time, we would also like to have a business continuity while being uh, socially responsible, while also doing our part in terms of stopping the spread of this virus. So in as far as the company is concerned, we are actually putting a lot of support system in place. Number one, training will be continuous and we are coming up with a lot of new facilities in terms of uh, purchasing products through the online platform. Now, it's also important that uh, as leaders, as associates, you also have to do your part in terms of empowering your community, your network. And so today, I would like to discuss one of the most important things I think that any leader, any associate, any distributors must possess, must develop, must enhance is the attitude of being resilient or resiliency. So at these critical times, being resilient is uh, very, very important. So what it means to be resilient or what is resiliency? Well, uh, one of the best definitions I actually um, got is uh, resiliency or being resilient means advancing despite adversity, meaning advancing despite the problems, the obstacles, uh, the challenges. So that means that uh, you have to keep going, you have to move forward despite the problems, challenges, obstacles, or adversities that you encounter. And uh, again, as uh, leaders, we are faced to it with a lot of challenges every day. Adversities can be small or big challenges that we face every day in terms of running our network, our community. And uh, again, the, the important thing is uh, we have to have the attitude of being persistent in terms of getting our dreams, getting our goals. Advancing means being goal-oriented and moving, advancing to our goals, working hard for our goals. Advancing despite means being proactive and not waiting for adversities to happen before we take action. And of course, adversity, these are the small challenges, the big challenges we face, like what we are now encountering. And uh, no one actually prepared us for this. No one uh, wanted this kind of situation where we are just confined in our place, in our home, and we cannot go out. And uh, the important thing is we have to know uh, what to do in terms of situations like this because uh, if we will be paralyzed because of our fears, because of anxiety, because of our worry, then um, it creates a more problem for us because if uh, you cannot move anymore because of your fear, because of your doubt, then you become unproductive. Uh, aside from that, of course, fear, anxiety, and being anxious lower down our immune system. So. Instead of just sitting down and just waiting for things to happen, instead of just watching the news, uh, you can do actually a lot of things in terms of being active, not physically, but uh, because of the technology, we can still be active and participate in terms of running our own community, our own network, our own team by being active virtually through online platforms. Actually, this thing that I'm doing right now is actually unique to me and uh, this is new to me as well, but uh, we have to do our part in terms of supporting our distributors and uh, making sure that there is continuous training for each and every one of you. In fact, in the next coming weeks, you will be hearing a lot of us, a lot from us, from the training team, 
and of course from the board of directors. So again, let me go back to my topic of being resilient because nowadays it's important, it's very very important that uh, you never stop, you never get paralyzed, you never get so worried that you never uh, move anymore, you never run your business anymore, you never get in touch with your leaders anymore. And I'd like to talk some things about actually what you can do to uh, still be active despite this situation. So, being resilient, my friends, there are certain steps we must do and we must adopt so that we can develop resiliency. Number one, being resilient means accepting change. So, we have to accept the fact that like here in the Philippines, uh, we are being quarantined for the next 30 days. We have to accept the fact that we will be confined in our home for the next 30 days. And with this change, the important thing is you adapt to it. Meaning you can actually uh, make some uh, things or do some things that uh, will still make you active. Uh, probably, number one, you can do online trainings for your uh, group, for your community, for your associates. And uh, number two, this changes. Previously, if you've been so active in terms of field marketing or what we call offline networking, this time, you have to practice uh, developing your skills in terms of uh, online marketing or using the online platforms, particularly the mediums such as uh, the social media. So again, we have to accept the fact that uh, change is happening and we have to adapt to these changes. Uh, probably previously before you have never been so techy or you have never been so uh, uh, you're not a, a person who always uses your cell phone any gadgets or anything in terms of this technology or online platforms now you have to adapt to it that uh, you have to accept the fact that since we cannot get in touch with our group physically well, we have to still get in touch with them we have to communicate with them in terms of online or not physically but virtually this time. So you have to accept change uh, to become resilient. Number two, become a continuous learner, which means as leaders, we all know this. We all uh, tell you this in our trainings and I'm sure even your, as your uplines, even your mentors, your coaches are telling you to continuously learn because uh, again, Knowledge is power if you uh, couple it with action. So this is the best time for us to learn. Read books. There's a lot of uh, things you can watch in YouTube instead of just watching the news, instead of uh, you know, uh, adding up to the worry of the world in terms of this pandemic. Do your part by reading books or engaging in, let's say, uh, online training with your, with your uh, associates, with your community. And uh, you can actually learn a lot of things, not only from your coaches, not only from your mentors, but you can actually learn also from your business associates, your community associates. So this is the best time for us to learn, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there's a lot of motivational trainings, a lot of information you can actually uh, watch in YouTube, for example. And there's a lot of uh, online um, topics you can uh, uh, actually search uh, that can help you um, develop your skills and at the same time add more information for you so third um, to become more resilient you have to take charge when i say you have to take charge you have to take charge of your your emotions you have to take charge of your mental uh, faculties you have to take charge of your uh, physical uh, uh, your your physicality you have to to take charge of your social skills Take charge, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, we cannot be affected so much by what is happening. We have to take charge and take action. For example, uh, again, as I've said earlier, this is the best time for you to use the online platform to get in touch with your people as often as possible so that uh, there is a business continuity in terms of uh, your group, in terms of your network. We cannot just be idle here. So let's take charge of our emotions particularly and not be afraid, not be uh, anxious and not be so worried that it paralyzes us so we have to take charge especially number one the mental plane so uh, we should do our best to you know to increase the level of our awareness and uh, do you think uh, as a way of uh, reflection 
and in terms of increasing our awareness, what do you think is uh, happening or what does this uh, outbreak situation, uh, what kind of impact does it do to us? So what can you learn from this? So previously, those things that we take for granted, like uh, our time with our friends, our, uh, you know, time to socialize, uh, going out probably, those things that we, the small things that we actually take for granted, I now realize that these are actually the important things. Uh, we take them for granted because uh, it's already part of our routine, going out, going to work, getting the sunlight, going to the playground, spending time with friends outside. But we never appreciate them so much anymore. But now, uh, how I wish I could uh, go out and spend time with uh, my friends, go to work, just be appreciative of everything being out. So this situation, actually, we can learn a lot of things and, you know, uh, it can actually add to our awareness. So probably when these things are over, or when this thing is over, uh, we can become more appreciative of the little things in life that we take for granted that now we feel so important because we are just confined here in our home. Uh, second, of course, part of our mental uh, awareness is the ability to adapt. Again, we cannot just be paralyzed because of our fear and everything, so you need to adapt. And that's going to be my topic in the next coming days, the skills or adaptability skills. Number three, decision making. Uh, this part of our, uh, the importance of uh, being resilient in terms of the mental plane is fast decision making. Uh, again, uh, there's a lot of things that uh, can worry us, that can paralyze us, that make us anxious. But uh, you decide, ladies and gentlemen, what to do with your network that uh, while this thing is happening, how can your group be able to still do the business uh, while there is a pandemic and we are being quarantined in our own, own house or own place? And of course, uh, part of this uh, mental being resilient uh, mentally is uh, being positive all the time because uh, again, negative thinking will never help us nowadays uh, at this point in time. We just have to be positive that uh, soon this will be over. Uh, again, the company is doing everything to make sure that there is business continuity and uh, previously before this happened, we had a crisis planning uh, session together with our department head. So, uh, don't worry because when this thing is over, uh, again, we will be stronger and uh, we will be more learned because uh, probably these things will, uh, this thing that is happening will help us become a better person. Uh, become uh, to become a more compassionate person, be a kinder person, because uh, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, is part of this, and uh, we are all affected by this. So probably when we resume our business activity, we will be more uh, connected to our associate. We will be more compassionate to them because what of what we have learned and experienced being confined at our own place. Uh, the second plane or the second part is of course being resilient is uh, the physical part so this is the best time to uh, actually rest and at the same time recover increase our strength make sure you get enough proper nutrition make sure you get enough sleep so there's a purpose why this thing is happening so probably some of you who have been complaining about being so busy running your network for the last few months and you would want to sleep and just rest now because of this thing everyone uh, will have a chance we'll have a time to uh, rest sleep and uh, spend time with their families and all because of this so being resilient ladies and gentlemen part of it is being physically fit at the same time number three plane aside from the mental plane the physical plane is the social plane so social means being connected with our family spending time with our loved ones and of course uh, socially means our connectedness with our fellow human being so again um, it is important to become human again at this point in time because for so many probably months we've been busy getting our goals we we take for granted what is actually important in our lives so this is the best time to get connected again and uh, we've been wanting this so for the next 30 days probably we can uh, 
you know, come up with a lot of things to stay together and um, spend quality time with our loved ones. And of course, number four is the spiritual plane. So this uh, uh, means our core values. Spiritual is our uh, inner, inner self. So this is the best time to connect. This is the best time to, uh, again, uh, probably contemplate that there is in a uh, higher being, infinite being, uh, of course, higher and higher than us. And um, this is the best time to reflect and connect again to our spirituality. So again, find your purpose. So there are four planes that we have to uh, take care of, our mental, physical, social, and spiritual plane. Now, going back to uh, some steps uh, to help you become more resilient is, uh, aside from taking charge, number four is finding your purpose. So again, uh, so that you will never be uh, stopped by this uh, problem, by this issue, by this uh, challenge or adversity of a pandemic that we cannot go out, that we cannot actually uh, engage with our group physically. Um, find your purpose. Find your why. Go back to the very reason why you are doing this in the first place. So, to those of you who are, you know, losing the motivation probably because you think that, oh, because of this, I'm just starting in the business and I'm starting to gain momentum and this happened. So, uh, you're losing hope because suddenly this happened. And believe me, nobody, no one wanted this in the first place. No one pre uh, prepared us for this. But if you go back to the very reason why you are doing this business why you did the business or what is your why what is your reason why you do this then that should fuel you to still go on move on in advance despite the adversity number five of course it's very important to uh, uh, cultivate relationship at this point in time so get in touch with of course with your associates with your people with your mentor uh, virtually using a lot of online platforms that is available to you uh, this is the best time to cultivate relationship with your loved ones with your family with your children with your parents and uh, this is important because this you know our loved ones inspire us our loved ones push us they motivate us they inspire us to actually move on or advance in, in terms of uh, our goals and uh, our dreams so one way to become resilient is to, to cultivate relationship with your loved ones and next is uh, this is the best time ladies and gentlemen to reflect uh, reflection meaning uh, let's have a new perspective about this let's get new perspective about what is actually happening uh, again, as I've said earlier, for so many years we've taken for granted what we thought were just small things like going out, going to the park, going to the mall, having some drinks or probably socializing with friends or, or co-workers or colleagues. But since it's an everyday routine, we take them for granted. Now that we are confined and there's a quarantine, how we wish, ladies and gentlemen, that we gain back that kind of freedom. How we wish that we could just easily go out and do our thing or things, do our tasks, go to the grocery easily, connect with friends easily, go to the park, eat somewhere, eat in the restaurant, go to the mall. Uh, these are the things that we cannot actually do now because of this quarantine. So probably this gives us a new perspective that once everything uh, gets back to normal, once everything is settled and once everything is already fine and okay, we become more appreciative of what we have of, or become, become more appreciative of our lives, become more appreciative of the things we have that we normally take for granted, become more appreciative of our co-workers, colleagues, our loved ones, or more importantly, become more appreciative of our freedom, of our opportunity. You see, a lot of people are affected by this outbreak, by this pandemic. A lot of people are losing their jobs. A lot of people, a lot of countries are worried about the upcoming recession. And because at least we have this kind of opportunity where we are not so much affected 
because we can be home-based, uh, we can offer this opportunity to a lot of people because we are flexible, because uh, we have uh, a very good compensation plan, then we have to think that, you know, we, we, we are still so blessed compared to a lot of people. Although, this situation is actually a great equalizer because everyone is affected by this. But we, who are in this industry, are still so, so, so blessed compared to a lot of people out there. So, in this step, I mean, reflection, probably it's time for us that, you know, we become more appreciative of what we have. So, when things get back to normal, that should give you a sense of urgency to really work harder when you when we all get back to no, our normal life when we all get back that kind of freedom that we used to have and uh, now i don't call this freedom because we are like prisoners in our own home and we cannot simply go out anymore so that should give us a new perspective and last of course the skill shift uh skill shift means you have to adapt to what is happening right now probably if your skills previously is just online or i'm sorry if your previous skills were just in uh, field marketing or what we call offline marketing and you've never been uh using or you've never used a lot of uh, other platforms particularly online platform in terms of running or growing your business your network probably this time you have to um learn a new skill uh, the online skills so there are a lot of mentors out there your coaches your uplines you can actually ask advice from so there's a lot of information the only important thing is you are open to shift your skills to other fields like online marketing at this point in time we are we can be connected to our group to our community uh, virtually but we have to have the online skills or we have to be familiar with online platform so Again, uh, one day you will be paid more, you will, uh, your income will be based upon the skills that you have. And the, 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 the best leaders are those who can adopt, those who can acquire skills depending upon the situation. So the situation now calls for you to have these online skills. Get in touch with your group, your community through online. Uh, it should be no reason, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, this thing happened, the government came up with this directive and you will have a reason that, you know, because the government did this and that, because it's harder to do the network now since I'm home. Well, those are excuses. In life, uh, you can make excuses or you can make any reasons, but at the end of the day, uh, it's all about your results. So make sure, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, be able to shift your skills, adapt. Uh, to what is happening right now the situation is very very different so let me just summarize how you can become resilient ladies and gentlemen number one make sure to adapt to change or accept change number two become a continuous continuous learner and uh, number three take charge take charge of our emotions take charge of our mental plane physical plane spiritual plane and the social plane um, number four we have to find our purpose we have to go back to the reason why we are doing this in the first place. Number uh, f five, uh, make sure to cultivate relationship. This is the best time to cultivate our relationship with our loved ones, with our associates, with our appliance, with our mentors. And number six, this is the, also the, the best time for us to reflect, to gain new perspective. And last, of course, we have to adapt to new skills. We have to have a what we call skill shift adapt to change and uh, since you know the the, the landscape uh, what is happening is different now so we have to also adjust our skills to a particular situation like now so again those is uh, those things are my topic that's about resilience in the next coming days you will uh, hear more about us and uh, uh, stay tuned ladies and gentlemen this is your weekly or probably this will be your daily dose of motivation from us Make sure to also protect yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. I protect. Use the products. Use the um, Ultra H2. And again, I'll see you uh, in the next coming days. God bless everyone. And uh, we're uh, going to be here to support you and uh, train you while these things are happening. 
things will get back to normal very very soon. Good luck and more power to you.